All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dungeon Crawlers, where literally we're going to be dungeon crawling. We're going to Dungeon <laughs> Derby. So yeah. So we got Tanner here. Uh, Hi, everybody. The mastermind genius. What is your actual title? I don't have a title. No title. I think I'm listed on the Kickstarter as the game designer. And game so designer. That would be a. I was about to say. That would be a good title. Tanner, That's, no title. No necessary. title. <laughs> title because is I'm that no awesome. title Tanner. Um, no, I'm definitely surrounded by many people with titles, and that's kind of yeah. definitely the reason why we've been able to do what we've been able to do. That's awesome. Nice. So Dungeon Derby is uh, a board game that you guys are putting out on Kickstarter. Uh, you guys have some really cool ideas with this. But not only that, uh, for everyone that was listening to our previous show with Brad uh, talking about his Handyman series, Brad is actually the artist for this game as well, right? Yes, Brad did all the art. And fun fact about Brad, I don't know if you guys talked about this last episode, but he is a colorblind yeah, artist. He mentioned that, which I'm actually kind of surprised because that? this is all colored. Yeah. I, I know, yeah. and it was really did he funny do the because and the artwork, or did he just do the he did the coloring and the artwork. So oh, wow. it was hey. funny when when he showed us his art as kind of his resume. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna lift these up for the camera. Yeah, we'll take photos. Yes, yeah, so we'll take photos too and post it up. But this one's probably my favorite though. But, I um, want to say something, but then I get R2. So he showed you his tanner. artwork. <laughs> yeah, he showed us his uh, his resume was all black and white yeah. art. And uh, about halfway through, he told us all that he was colorblind, and it was a real moment of panic. But then we got his stuff back, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're colorblind. Oh! Oh, I know, it's the last yeah. thing you want to hear when you hire an artist and are halfway through the... The job. Well, I, that even surprised me when I first met him, and he brought in his artwork. I'm like, wait, comic book art? How does that work? And he's like, oh, I just do black and whites. And then he did show me some color stuff, and I'm like, wow. I mean, I, I would never guess it if yeah. he had not told me because of the way he does stuff. Yeah, it ended up. It ended up. It ended up working out. I mean, if anything, the biggest takeaway is nothing is impossible yeah, for those definitely. that believe. Yeah. Yeah, nothing can hold you back. If you're dedicated, I just, I love this guy. I'm sorry. Like, I keep, I was looking at him before, like, oh, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty good. Then amazing. he's got the giant and, roller. And then I realized. <laughs> There's a guy on his back. <laughs> I realized that the guy on his back is to scale. So that's human size. <laughs> this guy is huge. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, there's the, all, uh, the little, all the little people down there. Yeah. That's they're the yeah, giant masters. I thought, was, I thought that they were just really far away. Dude, the <laughs> shading and the highlighting, it, like, I. I'm drooling and I'm fangirling it. Yes. So it's two to six players. Uh, three to six players. Three to six. So yeah. three is the minimum. Yeah. Two two is just not as fun. It's okay. not, not a two player you game. You could still do it though. Um you you could but it still be fun. do it, but we've we've changed the box. The instructions are three to six. Okay. It's currently okay. uh we're currently working on a rule set for two to six for two players. Mm-hmm. Um but maybe release as an expansion later down the line. There's a couple more elements we think that we okay. need to add. But that doesn't stop you from having a, a grand old time. So is it a very competitive game, where, or is it cooperative? No, so, so Dungeon Derby has a very unique play pattern. The object of the game is to make as much money as you can. Okay. Um, and it is, it, it's, it's less a dungeon crawl and more a dungeon race. Have you ever seen Rat Race? Yes. I love, I love that Rat movie. Race. That's so my favorite movie. It's a race. Movies. Do you have it's an <laughs> so towards the end of that movie, you find out that it's a bunch of rich old dudes who are betting on the uh, miscreants trying to get to the money, and it's really for their pleasure. I would say spoiler, but this is like 20 years old at this point. So Yeah, yeah. if you I mean, haven't if you seen Dungeon Derby, you deserve to be... Or no, if you haven't seen Rat Race, you deserve to be well, spoiled that's, at and this and point. And the latest Rat Race was a remake of the original. Yeah. So it's been out for many I got decades. I spoiled on a... On Game of Thrones and the Muppet panel at um, Comic Con, so I just whatever now. Wasn't the original? It's a mad, 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 yeah. mad, yes. mad, 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 yeah. mad, mad world. Yes. Now I really want to watch Rat Race. I haven't seen that in forever. Well, tell us more about this Rat Race. So, in 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 that same metaphor and example, um, it would be like instead of the rich old white dudes in Rat Race, we'd be rich old elves and gnomes and orcs here to bet oh. on. The racers in the dungeon. Nice. So their objective, these characters you see in front of you, their objective is to make it from one end of the dungeon to the other without perishing. And we bet on who will win. We can also heavily influence the race by placing and setting off traps. 
casting spells from the sidelines and giving different racers different pieces of armor and gear to take into the dungeon with them. So we can heavily influence our bet, but everybody's trying to do that so at the same so time. So hold on, patron? hold on. So, you, you, so you're, not, you're not actually playing as one of these four or six characters. You're actually betting on these six characters, or play, these six uh, NPCs that are like trying to run through the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, they're completely, uh, their movement and actions are completely controlled by the game. Oh, wow. Really? Um, your object of the game is to influence the race the best that you can. So you can hide flame traps in the dungeon that will trigger, that will burn and send your, not your bet, back uh, to the fantastic. starting line, back to the race, you can send monsters in there, skeleton armies that will fight the other uh, champions in the dungeon that will make sure that your bet has a straight shot I'm all so the way to the play? end. I'm John Cleese. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch Rat, rat Race. Yeah. You mean you need to, I need to watch Rat Race this decade when I have my adult brain? Yes. yes. Okay. John Cleese. Movies always really, yeah. you watch some of those ones that you grew up no, no, no. with, yeah. and you're taken back by like Muppet the jokes you missed. Treasure yeah. Island has the dirtiest joke that yeah. I did not realize was in there, yeah. and I ruined it for Scott That's when I pointed okay. that out. No, so John, <laughs> so do you remember any of Rat Race? I re So the main billionaire is John Cleese, the actor John oh, Cleese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The one with the really weird fake teeth, because I'm sure he was wearing fake teeth. They were very well, no, large. I, I know who John Cleese yeah. is, but I can't picture him in the movie. Well, no, that's head. what I'm saying. In the yeah. movie, he has really big white teeth. I can teeth hear him, and, though. Now yeah. I can hear him. Yeah. When they're like And Dave and Thomas everything. is his assistant that yes. he keeps making do weird things. No, I just remember when they, um, one of the things that stuck with me is the Barbie Museum because I was that age when it came <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wrong Barbie. <laughs> I never understood that joke. Is Barbie like a Nazi? Is that a name of a Nazi? Well, is it like a was, German for Nazi? So it was actually someone that was really high ranked up. His name was Barbie. Like Hitler Barbie. Well, it wasn't Hit. It was like one of his Adolf lower Barbie. assistants or something like that. So yeah, it wasn't like last Barbie the doll. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't the actual doll. But that's what they thought it was. They were going yeah, to yeah, the Barbie yeah. doll museum, and it wasn't that. Um, There's another I know. <laughs> that was just the whole way they did that, where he has the the little... The shoe makeup polish on, shoe it, polish. on his thing, and then he swallows oh. the, or has the, oh, cigarette lighter that bounces onto his tongue, and then he goes into a World War II vet thing, oh. and he starts talking. That he's asking for directions, yeah. so he's pointing with his hand. Yeah, yeah and, not good. and he's trying to explain what's going on, but he sounds like he's talking German. Uh, he would get fired from the New York Times. He would. <laughs> yes. There's another part of the that sticks out for me. For me. What? Prairie dog. Prairie oh. dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always threaten my kids with that. <laughs> Get the poop out the window. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to stop another time. If you, you don't really go here go, at this stop, you're just you're sticking going out, out the, the window. window. I never do it, but. I hate you. I, I hate you. I hate <laughs> I know. you. I hate you. I know. You. Oh. There's so many awesome references we can put into this game now. A lot there of them. A lot of them are there. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, one thing that's important to the aspect of the game is if you if you zero out, if you run out of money, or if you drop below the starting amount, uh -huh. you got to have a way to stay in the game. So there's a forty deck uh, card deck mm -hmm. in there that are quest cards. So if you drop below the starting amount, you have to do a quest. Okay. And what's uh -huh. funny about the quests is they're they're not so much to do with the game as they are real world things. My favorite quest of all time, and I always laugh when somebody draws it, is for every player at the table that you go get a drink for, you can have $100. Oh, wow. And people are always like, do I have That's to awesome. go physically get drinks? And then you say, yeah, I'll, I'll take a... So the quest pepper. cards are actual physical things you have to do. A, a lot of them are. Some of them are dice you know, rolling, work in my favor rock, paper, scissors. It's always the joke with the tall and the short person, and I never win. So There's no tall, short person quest. Yes! So you're good. Oh, so, I have, so what you're telling me is that it, it, it not just implements like elements of the board game, but it implements real world actions that you actually have yeah. to like. Yeah, it's a crazy party game. Uh, I think there was a lot of benefit from being my first board game because I didn't know what you shouldn't put in a board mm -hmm. game. I didn't know what you should put in a board game. Like, I don't want to do push-ups. Well, they're in there. Well, <laughs> you, if you want money, you have to do push-ups. That's actually a great a idea for a quest card. Are you card creator? So app? our Kickstarter... <laughs> Currently has 13 cards that are undecided yet. 
Um, so there's about five quest cards. Now. There's <laughs> six spell cards and two treasure cards that are completely undecided that we want to build with the Kickstarter community. Um, please don't do the tall and short person. No, we're not. I'm not talking no, about tall no. and short. I just have this idea, and. <laughs> <laughs> When Dad says that someone's oh, no. about to die, that's that's <laughs> all I know. Well, or do you want to hear this idea? Because he's going to mention the incident. No, we'll, we'll let I you won't decide, Scott. Here. Should we hear this idea? No, no, no. We'll, we'll move I forward. I'm no. thinking of a lot of I, ideas. Like, I, I like there should be a sandwich card. Like, go make me a sandwich. I'm really like, oh, fine. I want money. What's a sandwich? Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh. And it's funny because oh, you yeah. can do crazy things like that. You just have to up the amount of money that they would get. Like, I don't think anybody would go make a sandwich for a hundred bucks because there's other quest cards in there. Yeah. Right. Well, what but for five thousand. Like, like oh, singing, and then everybody around the table like judges you, or anything like that. So or there's or one card a where karaoke card, and everyone at the table gets to pick the song. Oh no, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Oh, no, there is a singing card. You do you do draw a quest, and on your adventures, you show up to a cobalt birthday party. <laughs> oh yes, I'm sorry. I'm and <laughs> mistaken as cobalt. the entertainment, oh, you must sing it's happy birthday rat. in a cobalt accent or voice or whatever that means to you. Uh, and uh, uh, that's really good. <laughs> this would be awesome. Can we have that as a ringtone? Sure. <laughs> Exclusive Dungeon Crawler's ringtone. That oh, would can, work. My du- can my Dungeon Crawler ringtone be I want to throw you into my dungeon? Sure. I think yours is going to have to be I don't understand that reference. <laughs> no, it's, I don't know what that means. That works. Too. I don't get that. I don't get that. I couldn't watch this. Went over my head. I turned it off at, after five minutes. There's Very, so many from her. Varen's would have to be. <laughs> Varen's would probably be that's what she said. <laughs> And it's appropriate that we always sit next to Oh, so would mine be, I want some nuts. Is that mine? <laughs> Speaking of. She just peaked. Pe- pe- so, since you brought it up, the I'm card would have to be to go get some nuts. Yeah, yeah. That's how much money you get? I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> but how much money would you get? Depends on how many nuts. I'm so excited. There you go. <laughs> what? I'm going so hard not to do R2 right now. How many nuts are at the table? <laughs> Correct amount of cards. What's R2? Extra with cinnamon. So whenever uh, there's cursing, word. is our sensor. Oh, it just... <laughs> it just goes, R2. Wow! Oh, How that's good. Doing? Yeah, yeah R2 just showed up. Well, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the table, R2-D2. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this you sounds, sounds like a right really now. fun game. Yes, yes, I mean, yes, going back to the game. <laughs> besides, I mean, I... Uh, because I, I got it, I hadn't had time to crack it open, but... This like adds another element because most games you're playing the characters and you're moving around, but you're betting on it just completely turns a different dynamic because now you're trying to manipulate the game. Other people are trying to manipulate, and you want to win that way instead of moving the guy here and there and collecting your treasure and going. Yeah, I'm going. not. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw the map, like I was like, oh well, how are you gonna dungeon crawl on that small map? Like you know, it just yeah. it just didn't feel like something I'd be interested in. But now knowing like. No, no, these are the non-playable characters. These are who you're manipulating. You're sending armies in after them, and then you have real-world consequences and, and actions that you can perform. Like, that that shapes it. Shapes I don't know why I'm picturing a combination of Mist and Cranium. Oh, yeah. It's it's similar. Uh, Mist is a great game, by the way. Yeah. Hey, I do know old stuff. There you go. Yay! I just got points back after the Ghostbusters thing. <laughs> So it is, a, it is kind of a fairly small board. There's 13 mm-hmm. spaces all the way down, mm-hmm. and it's six spaces wide. What's interesting is the bottom left corner of the, of the box on the board, kind of you can see that there's uh, encounter tokens. Yeah. Well, now it's, yeah, it's still the bottom left for the camera now. And those actually stay on the board from race to race. Okay. So you have so more than one race. There's more than one race. Yeah. You, so in the instructions, and, and we recommend playing seven races, that'll give you about an hour of playtime with six people. Okay. If you want a quick game, you can do four races. That would be about 30 minutes. If you want to just figure out who's the best in five minutes, you can play one race, two hours. Again, it's, of course, the more races you play, the longer it'll play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and what's really cool is the encounters stay on the board from race to race. So a lot of times when people are playing for the first time, they, they see, okay, well, you're representing the uh, Harpy people, you bet, as their people. Because okay. you get points if they come in first, second, or third that are... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so she'll play her encounter and just screw over your lane, for example. Okay. Yes, I will. But then next race, the pole position changes. Oh, no, it doesn't. When you flip over the purse card. <laughs> so 
she could end up just screwing herself over. Oh. So it's it's it adds an, really another fun. element of. Uh, There's a lot of unpredictability. It's always me against the boys. Are you kidding me? You, you screwed no, yourself over. over. Right? There's no help for you. Now. Uh, and yeah. then there's resource there's management. There's card management. So there is okay. a lot of unpredictability, a lot of randomness, but um, a lot of card control and card draw that you can really manipulate the race. You could have two cards that work well together and, and are for sure win, mm -hmm. but there's always a chance that somebody else has something similar. Okay. So nice. now I have the question. Because we've already talked about the cards where you run out of money, you have to do actions to get money. What happens if the person refuses to do that? Are they completely out then? They would be they would have to sit that round, that uh, with round no out. money. And okay. again, uh, the rule the most important rule in the instructions is the rule of fun. Mm -hmm. So literally nothing's off the table. Okay. If you wanted to make a less mild version of the quest and pay me some of your own money, you could do that and we've seen that before. Oh, okay. Um, so let's say you don't want to sing happy birthday in front of everybody, you're kind of embarrassed. If you promise to do it at a later date for just me in the private setting, as, an oh, <laughs> as a very awkward wow. example. This has become um, interesting now. <laughs> you could, uh, 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 I, would, of a I would pay you <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Just, oh, you just made it turn into Marilyn Monroe or something like that. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of board <laughs> games. I played a lot of board games. Yeah. This this board game, you, you will be screaming at the table, uh, pacing around. That's awesome. I, I've never seen that in any other board game, and, and that's I think its biggest strength. You haven't is that, seen my family playing. <laughs> oh, I've okay. never. We never don't talk about. <laughs> The unnamed game that we the, don't That's the game about. that always gets knocked off the table because someone gets mad. <laughs> Dang it! Not allowed. Not it allowed. It would be really house. funny if you r would the word. <laughs> so the listeners had no idea it was such a Done. basic game. Done. And then they'd hear me say that and just be frustrated that they don't know what game we're talking about. You should just make it. No, it shouldn't be R2. It should be like money sound. Ching! It's definitely a game that everybody has played. Yeah. Oh, everybody's played it. Yeah. But nobody's going to know. Playing it. Everybody yeah. will know because everybody hates it. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, jeez. We will definitely know. Well, um, well we're, we're almost out of time. We are. Tuesday, um, 9 o'clock in the morning is when we're going live on kay. Kickstarter. So. so we might need to post this on Tuesday because if we want to... Or should this be more on the third week of the Kickstarter? The day of would be awesome. Totally up to you Kay. guys. So we, uh, yeah, we and now you get to see behind the scenes of the thought process. We'll move it forward. Yay. Okay. We always record in the past, present, and future. We're doctors. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you need to put in. Well, hello, doctor. 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 However, um, doctor. But, um, doctor. 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 But now, you now I'm confused. Because we were talking about Brad. So Brad's show is going to be after this show. Well, we just screwed up the timeline. <laughs> So for those I love you, how we're having this planning I session know. during the actual show. Well, that's the best did part we about screw it. up the timeline or did we create a second timeline? I think we just created we an alternate universe. I think we universe. created an we alternate timeline. We did. And Mackenzie flipped us off in all of them. Yes. Oh, there you go. So, the one constant. The I didn't see so this. Is the so apparently, so apparently, what you're saying this is, is Mackenzie's a time lord because she's constant throughout it. Apparently. And all this right. is the YouTube safe version. Okay. All right, uh, okay. so we're going to wrap this up. So check out uh, Kickstarter. So look up Dungeon Derby on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, support this. It is, this is probably not going to be a game like you've ever seen before. Uh, it sounds like lots of fun. Artwork is fantastic, and you guys have a lot of, uh, oh, what is the, the word? Uh, not achievement levels. Uh, um, Supporters? Stretch goals. Stretch goals, that's what I'm stretch thinking goals. of. So we're actually not doing stretch no goals. No stretch goals. Oh. Uh, we say very, the very first thing you read on our Kickstarter page is that everything that we have created for you, you get. Is getting oh, even better. You get it. You I get it all. That. So we've okay. thought through everything. I mean, there's over 300 pieces that come with it. You're getting it all. What we will do is we will slowly work with our Kickstarter community to mm -hmm. create these other cards. Okay. So the uh, new quests, new spells, new treasure, and we'll slowly reveal those throughout the campaign. Nice, I like that. You get everything. You get everything. Six That's minis awesome. um, and, and anything else we, we uh, come up with together. Okay. So there, no stretch goals because you get everything. That's even better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So um, I want everything. We need right. To Everybody that. wants. Yep. How bad does that suck mm-hmm. when they don't hit a stretch goal and it's like, well, that's the one well, thing no, that I, I mean, wanted. that's one thing we've talked about too is even getting video games now. It seems like you don't get a full game anymore. You have to buy yeah. all these other content. Yeah, it's EA. Buy it's like, the what the heck? Stretch goals. I hate this. Quit I have doing. No idea what a stretch goal is. It just means so stretch so goals at most Kickstarters, if they hit a certain dollar amount, they add something else to the game. They hit another dollar amount, they add something else. Instead, you're getting everything, so it's even better. Or if you can't do the splits and you eventually want to do the splits, yeah, that would be a stretch goal. That's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like that one. I understand more of his real world. I like that one. Um, so uh, I'm not going to be doing the splits anytime soon, because that would hurt. Uh, but we're going to wrap this up and and we're going to make like a banana. Yes, and split. And split. Yes. But check out Dungeon Derby on Kickstarter. Support this. This is going to be an awesome game, and we'll probably be hearing more from Tanner in the future because he has some other awesome games to talk. So with that said, we're out of here. Dungeon crawler.